Hey there, this is Nick. Here's your virtual tour of the Simple Scorebug basketball client. Uh, this is the main page where we'll be playing our bug out of. Uh, you can see that the layout looks kind of like the bug itself is going to look. Uh, on the left hand side we've got quick play graphics and video options. Uh, so at the top of your show you can play things quickly. We have a pregame matchup button, a visitor lineup button, a home lineup button, and then an option here with four choices to select a graphic from another area which I'll show you in a second. There's also a couple of options to play videos. This isn't meant to replace the uh, client, the standard client Casper CG comes with, but at the beginning of a show you might have a really quick video you want to run and this is a simple way to do it uh, that way. So uh, within here we can fill out our uh, team name uh, so you can see it's visitor and home at the moment. Um, there's a score here and there are buttons that operate the score here so every time uh, say the visitor scores adds two, three, or one to our score. Uh, timeouts are under here. Uh, we also have the option to choose where in the game we are. Uh, this works the same on the other side. Uh, we've got a, one of the uh, bug options you have is to have a user controlled clock. You click here. You can actually set your clock. Uh, you click this to show the clock on the screen and you can actually start your countdown and control it here. Uh, this is kind of hard to keep up sometimes with uh, game clocks but it is a good option for a lot of people and of course you can stop it and change it and start it back up so if you get off it's not too hard to to catch up um, and then to show our score bug we just click that button and same one to hide it uh, down here we've got end of quarter buttons so if we're showing our score bug and then the quarter ends we can click this one and it automatically shows our end of quarter graphic so that is basically the home page. Uh, up in the top right hand corner you can see up here we've got um, the address to connect to your Caspar CG server. You can do it on your the same computer or you can do it on another computer. You can network however you like and this can handle that. Uh, it, before the game starts we can fill out our pregame matchup graphic with the name, date, location, and then team names. We've also got starting lineups for basketball. These are the same graphics you can fire from off from here. You can do them from here or you can do them from here. In our other graphics area we have three choices. There's a pop-up graphic which uh, is a one-line graphic that pops out of the top of the score bug. There is a lower third graphic with a large top line and two bottom lines. You can also select which team's logo or your own broadcast logo you want to show up on that graphic as well. And then there's a font panel where we have more information so it's got a title and as you can see you can make bullet points or really just any text you want. You can either show these graphics immediately as soon as you type them up if you're in a pinch or you can save them and when you save them they land over here in our playlist. Uh, once they're in the playlist and you can see some samples in there you can reorder them as much as you want. You can uh, edit the text so if I don't want to say top line I can just double click and it is editable. Um, we can also delete lines just by hitting the delete line here or clear the rundown on all together by hitting this one and it'll delete all of this. Uh, we can play out from here, so if I wanted to play this one, I'll hit show highlighted graphic, and it shows it. Um, and I can just click through and do it do it that way. Uh, before we get going, we do need to make sure our files and folders are all set. So over here, you've got an option to choose which graphic you want to use. Um, there, there are, especially when it comes to the score bug, three choices. So you'll have to decide which one you want to use. You can click this button here to open up a file and select it directly from your system. 99% uh, of the times when there's problems with using this system, it's because people haven't selected their folders correctly. So you need to be very vigilant down here at the bottom to make sure that your uh, file locations are correct, your paths are correct. When you get errors, it's almost 100% of the time right here is, is where it's coming from. Uh, so that is something you need to be very vigilant about and you can select directly from here. Um, you have choices to set which graphics channel you want for Caspar and which video channel you want. Um, and then here we select our visitor files. Uh, and then of course we have our logos. You ha have to have to select a few a few different logos here. There's the visitor score bug logo, which is um, the large, uh, excuse me, the small bug that shows up on the score bug itself. Um, there is the large logo which shows up in all the other graphics like the pregame matchup and the lineups and you can actually select a color for each team and then you can also select your broadcast logos here as well.